Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I have found clarity in one aspect of my life. Looking at my browser and understanding the difference between Chrome apps and Chrome extensions. What the heck am I talking about, Steve? Well, if you don't know, you're going to want to stick around today on Dotto Tech. There is an interesting evolution happening in our computing experience. The operating system and the browser, the web browser, are kind of growing together and growing closer and closer in functionality. And in some cases, they've completely merged. For example, if we look at the Chromebooks, if we look at Google's Chrome operating system, which is essentially an operating system, which is a browser. Now, for those of us that still use a browser on our notebook or on our desktop computer, if we're using the Chrome browser, we've been adding extensions for a long time in order to add functionality. Now, we also add extensions or add-ons to Firefox and to Safari to all of the different browsers. But there's also something now called Chrome apps, which are kind of the next generation of extensions. They don't have to live in the browser in order to work. They almost work as standalone apps, but they still are at their heart a web-based functionality. So let me show you just basically the two different options that we're seeing moving ahead so you can understand kind of where they live. And I'm just actually right now preparing for a demo, which I'll probably post next week, uh, talking about a couple of different tools that add um, that add basically uh, that add productivity, uh, removing some of the some distraction from our lives. Now, one of these is a Chrome app, and the other one is a browser extension. And you can't really tell by looking at them. So here I am in the Chrome store, and here I have got the button for this one here, it's called One Tab, to add it to Chrome. It's not until I actually add it to Chrome that I'm going to discover, I'm gonna click here on Add to Chrome, that I discover that in this particular case, it is an extension, and what's gonna happen is right here in my menu bar here within Chrome, I see that One Tab has been added to Chrome. So there, here we see an example of an extension which has been added to Chrome and I can access it by clicking here on it, and that basically is how it works. Now, I've, I've gone and removed my other, uh, <laughs> the other one that I've got here. Uh, this is the other one that I wanted because what one tab does is it actually consolidates all of your tabs. Uh, but this is the other tool that I wanted to install for this demo, and it's called Time Dozer. Now, it looks almost the exact same in the web store when I go to add it, but now when I click to add to Chrome, what it's doing is it's adding it as an app. What does that mean, Steve? Well, it doesn't appear here in the, in the, uh, in the browser bar because it now can actually run as an independent app. Now, that's one of the beauties of, the, of, of, of uh, Chrome apps is they run independently. They don't need to be connected and online in order to work. But now that I've got it installed, uh, uh, where do I find it? Go over here into this little tab here called apps, show our apps, and we see all of the different apps that are available to us. Now these are basic web functionality that have been encapsulated into an app. So here's Time Dozer right here. So I just click on it here and I can start to use it. It'll fire it up and it's ready to start running. In this particular case, it's a little timer that I will be talking about. Now, how does this all come together as far as if we, how we manage these tools? Well, using the tools, with typically speaking, when we're talking about extensions, we have to be connected to the web and we access the extensions through the through the browser bar up at the top here. For apps, we go in and we launch them and they will appear and they will run as a discrete application. So we can see it running down here in my dock. So the application is actually running. If I need to modify permissions or add or delete anything to do with, our, with any of the browser extensions, I go into Chrome, preferences and there I go into my extensions and I manage all of my extensions right here. If I want to manage the browser apps, the easiest way to manage the apps themselves is by going into the into the uh, app uh, into onto the app page, right click our mouse and we can remove them, we can view them and we can add any other options. So for example, with my Gmail app here, I can actually set it up as a pin tab. So what'll happen is when it when it launches, it launches in a uh, in a always open smaller tab here so that it doesn't close when other things are being closed around it. So we've got some basic functionality here, as well as the ability to change any of the options and remove it from Chrome, which is basically the uninstall process, the same as we would do within the, uh, within the preferences is removing the extension. So apps, Chrome apps are, for lack of a better term, the next generation 
of browser extensions. They add web functionality, but now they're starting to act much more like our older regular applications. They will run offline. They're encapsulated in themselves. They don't run in the browser bar, but instead they run as a discrete application running within your operating system. I hope that explains the difference for you and you found today's video to be useful. Now I should point out that there's three ways for you to stay in touch with us here on Dottotech. The first is please subscribe to this channel. Second, is please subscribe to our newsletter. That way you'll hear about all of our upcoming webinars and tutorials, different live events that we do here on Dottotech. And finally, Dottotech is a community funded channel. It's supported through the generosity of you folks at the crowdfunding site Patreon. I encourage you to drop by our Patreon page, take a look and discover what perks are included should you choose to support Dottotech. And if I do say so myself, the perks be amazing. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.